uh, here with the team Gaia AI. They're one of the launchpad teams. Uh, and, you know, as I was writing the, the newsletter this morning for uh, uh, talking about, you know, stepping up and, and putting out problems, I, I wrote the launchpad teams and I said, hey, anybody want to uh, be part of the newsletter for this week? And we can kind of talk through what you're doing. And uh, the team here uh, responded within minutes and said, hey, yeah, let's let's do this. So, uh, yeah, why don't you guys uh, introduce yourselves and uh, tell us, you know, what uh, what are you working on? Yeah, first of all, I want to say this has already been a lot of fun. Uh, the, the whole group is vibing on this, so re definitely recommend the rest of our miners to do this. Um, so yeah, we're, we're Guy AI. I'm Peter McHale. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, really, what Guy is about is trying to bring trust to forest-based carbon credits, um, and we do that by building up this, this trustworthy um, uh, carbon credit marketplace. Really, the heart and soul of that is, is accurate measurements and being able to get the right um, kind of metrics out of that data. Um, and so that's largely what we're what we're starting to build up. Um, Joe, do you want to give a quick intro as well? Yeah, I'm Joe. Uh, I'm currently in undergrad studying environmental environmental studies, um, and currently doing an internship with Gaia, uh, focusing on business development stuff. Nice. I love the big vision, uh, and a thing we talk about Airmise too is you, you get that big vision, and then how do you how do you pull it back to you know stuff that you do every day? Uh, so we were talking about. Uh, you know, what's, uh, what's happening this week. So yeah, what's, uh, what's top of mind for you guys this week? Yeah, so the, the big focus has honestly largely been around recruiting. Um, I'm really hyper-focused on that kind of like growth curve, right? And um, in a lot of ways, the big thing holding us back is, is product development. We really need to get the thing out there so that we can get out there and start selling it, um, really fill out the, the feature set. Um, in order to do that, and in order to have really gas to fuel this whole machine, um, we, we need people, right? And, and so like, it feels really like that's what's holding us back. Um, and so a lot of the, the heart and soul obsession is, is around, uh, is around recruiting these days. Nice. Yeah. So what, uh, what are you doing to recruit? How do you recruit? Uh, honestly, a number of things. Um, so starting off early on, we, um, we tried a, a few different open-ended job fairs, right? Where we put out a posting and kind of saw who responded. Um, it took a lot of time. Uh, honestly, it, it took just a, a lot of like conversations, a lot of responses, um, even trying to be, you know, respectful or polite to people who aren't, don't have alignment with, with the different roles that we have. Um, and there was zero throughput, um, a zero, zero outcome from it of, of people that, that were really stood out to, to align with, with what we've been looking for. Um, and so that was, we kind of like now framed that as like, that was a shotgun approach, right? We just put stuff out in the world and, and kind of saw who, who'd respond, who'd be interested. Um, after that, because it was such harsh uh, outcome of it, honestly. Um, we, we've totally uh, pivoted to, to what we call the more sniper approach, right? We, we really focus on these kind of like narrow um, funnels or, or communities that we know people, um, like, you know, we, we have a high bar and we know that the great majority of people in that community will meet that bar. Um, and so for better or worse, and honestly, in some ways it's, it's for worse, um, we've been using the, the communities that we have the, um, from the universities we've been to, Carnegie Mellon University of Michigan, MIT, um, and largely focusing on those to get software engineers or roboticists. Um, so it's, it's worked a lot better, honestly, of, you know, 80% of the people I talk to meet, meet our bar and it's just very effective. And we've been finding people who are, who are really excited to, to kind of work on Gaia. So it's, it's been working out. That's cool. I'm trying to think of people that are, you know, early in their carbon rural journey and they're, they're trying to figure out how to get into the, the uh, this industry, this, this kind of movement. Um, yeah, any uh, any stories about you know people that have kind of connected with you outside of that uh, that new process that you have? Yeah, yeah. Well, so actually, sorry, sorry, Joe. Oh, actually, actually, Joe, that's a good way for you to answer. I can talk about um, our interview and the Reddit, the person we found on Reddit this week. But before I dive into that, um, a lot of people ask me about where um, you know how we found Joe because he's he's outside of these different communities that we exist in. And to be honest with you, Joe, I, I actually forget how, how we landed with you. So I'm actually going to close my door while, while you get at that. <laughs> I'll be honest, sometimes I forget too. Um, I, was, I was looking at, uh, I just left the last startup I was at in the fall, and I was uh, kind of exploring to see where my next steps were. Uh, last startup was a tr re uh, wood waste diversion company, pretty much. Um, and so I was like, oh, trees, you know. And so I looked up uh, environmental incubators and Greentown came up and then I clicked on Greentown. I saw Guy and I was like, there's a tree in that picture. Let me click on that website. Saw business development and I just applied. Um, it was a very anticlimactic, anticlimactic and uh, coincidental 
type of find. But yeah, it was. I think, uh, if, if I remember right, Joe, in your case, like how you kind of stood out and because that was that was actually one of the very few outcomes that we had from that broader funnel, right? When, when we did have something out there. Um, and I think how you kind of stood out was just a lot of stuff around like your prior experience being well aligned, right? About like, and, and you even have a, your family is like, a whole background lineage in, in timber industry and like touching on like that and all the connections and um and the, the last startup you had it was just like so much raw alignment you know with with what we're doing um that it was like okay yeah let's let's talk um the please i was just gonna say one of the big interested one of the big things i was focused on last one was was not carbon was the you know life cycle analysis stuff and i was missing the carbon piece and so that's really what I was searching for was a more carbon centric, carbon focused startup. Um, and that, the guy was guy stood out because there were a couple others that were uh, uh, circular economy type style stuff. Yeah. Um, and the, the other the other case that kind of stands out again, as far as like getting past that that ne more narrow funnel from the, the environments, we, we the ecosystems we, we exist in um, again was was kind of this week. Um, it actually passed by uh, Joe's radar on, on Reddit. Um, a, a guy made a post about um, really cool stuff around like some results he got uh, with, uh, with LiDAR technology on, on below a canopy in a forest. Um, and Joe posted it to our Slack channel. I was like, guys, like we, we got to look at this. It's definitely like aligned. It was, it was really cool. You know, like all the engineers were kind of like geeking out over the video. Um, and so we're like, okay, yeah. And I, um, let's, let's talk to the guy. Um, it was clear from his, his posting that he was excited to like, you know, explore things and, and see what's out there. Um, so I reached out on Reddit of all places, um, and we actually just talked a few hours ago. Um, and yeah, he, he really stood out again, just with raw alignment, right. Of, of a lot of the stuff, like he posted that and the video that, that, that we saw was like very, very, um, involved all, all sorts of similar technologies to really what we're trying to build up. Um, and so that's, that's how that kind of worked out. And for someone that's looking for, a, you know, in, in the looking for a job or vice versa, looking for someone for a job, uh, looking through you know reddit and all these uh places you wouldn't necessarily think about but still people who are interested in in you know technology or in or in environmental environmental causes um it's just as you it's more useful i find than you know going to a job fair right because it's if they respond to you on there they're really interested in talking to you rather than you know in a job a uh, job fair sorry <laughs> Yeah, right. sure thing. I've definitely seen that seen that emerge throughout, you know, different people in air miners, right? It's people showing up with kind of this purpose or this desire to be a part of a part of working on carbon removal. Um, and you know, on, on the flip side, one of the challenges of of building a new industry is it's not totally clear who you you know who you need on your team. So it is kind of, kind of this like combo of like let's find the people who have raised their hand and said like I'm really into this, uh, and then match that up with like okay, what are the skills that we actually need. Yeah, I, I think honestly that does, that does really stand out. Um, honestly, our, our um, half of where guy comes from is, is is largely towards that, right? Is is there's some really cool stuff out there? I, so I, I came out of the atomic vehicle space, right? And and I was just surrounded by these absolutely brilliant and, and awesome people, um, and working on like some of the coolest technology in a lot of ways. Like I, I I can't help but geek out over a lot of that tech stack, right? And in uh, perception AI and autonomous vehicles, it's like the coolest thing ever. Um, but it, honestly, when kind of take a step back in that industry and uh maybe it's a hot take maybe it's not but um frankly you know like so much of that some of the most advanced technology in some way that, that we've made um and and it's all getting applied both money and people um almost all of it is getting applied towards uh towards minimizing uber's unit economics right and so it's kind of like a jading experience when when you when you see that um and we we have such insane like meaningful and important problems in our generation right and so like angling some of that at, at solving and tackling these, especially around climate, right, um, is, is half of where Guy came from, is how do we get creative with this tech to solve real problems? Um, and honestly, I, I think a lot of people are, are kind of like coming out and, and, and feeling that. So Gen Z, probably some in, in millennial as well, that um, people are kind of like getting really driven by mission. Um, I can say like our lead roboticist, uh, absolutely like freaking brilliant guy, right? Like, uh, and really awesome to work with. Um, he could be going off to, to Waymo or Facebook or whatever, um, probably making like a quarter mil, you know, and, and, and all this kind of draw. Um, but he, he talked to me when, when um, you know, I was grabbing coffee with people at MIT um, and he, he stopped by and what caught his attention was largely the mission, right? He, he, he had this kind of almost existential crisis, right? Of like, 
oh my God, I'm a roboticist. This is such cool technology. I want to work on this technology. At the same time, like, it, you know, I want to work on meaningful and important problems. We have some really critical ones. Um, how do I angle this? And it's, it's, it feels sometimes hard to find the applications of some of the cooler and, and exciting tech towards the meaningful problems. And so if you can find that, if you can present that, it has a huge appeal to, to engineers, right? It, we're, we're kind of like that, that um, impact or, or meaning, right? Um, and passion towards that versus, uh, you know, trying to get a paycheck and, and, and a larger one, right? And so I think that's, that's a huge selling point for, for a lot of people in, in our generation, luckily. Well, good stuff. I'm glad I got the chance to talk with you guys. Um, really, yeah, again, seeing a lot of these themes and things you're talking about uh, popping up all over your miners from those kind of spontaneous meet, you know, meetings of people that are, you know, doing their thing and you just kind of collide with them and it turns out, hey, yeah, we should work together uh, to... Yeah, that, you know, that, that concept of saying like, actually what we're kind of delivering here is, is purpose in a lot of ways, right? We're, we're pulling carbon from the air, but for the whole team, for the people, for the, for the customers, for the investors, for everybody, there's actually something more to it than, um, than you know, just a job or just a company or something like that, right? It's, there is actually a deeper, hey, yeah, like I want to be a part of this. Uh, and so it's really, really exciting to see that coming through in, in all your work. So thank you for, uh, thank you for taking time to, to share your story. Thank yeah. you. I had a ton of fun. <laughs>